Hi everyone, Johnny Rovin here. Uh, today I'm going to go through 101 factors that can affect your personal injury settlement. So without further ado, let's get started. Prior physical problems. Number one, do you have any prior physical problems to any part of your body? Number two, do you have a future need for treatment? Do you have to go for another surgery or uh, get some kind of prosthetic? Something like that. Number three, non-treatment by treatment by non-medical doctor providers. Did a chiropractor treat you, acupuncturist, massage therapist? That can affect the personal injury settlement. Number four, comparative faults. Are you also at fault for the injury? Number five, prior injuries. Do you have any prior injuries to the same part of the body? Perhaps a prior shoulder injury and then you re-injured it in this accident. Number six, witnesses. Do you have any witnesses to your accident? Number seven, certainty of liability. Are you certain or is there is there going to be a certainty that the other party is liable for the accident? Number eight, who your doctors are. Doctors have reputations. Some doctors have better reputations than others. That can affect the personal injury settlement. Number nine, whether you're a changed person because of the accident, or have you completely changed because of this accident? Do you have some kind of personality changes because of the accident, or you have to act in a certain way uh, because of the accident? Number 10, the cost of litigation. Cost of litigation can affect the settlement, uh, how much you spend or how much the other side spent, that can certainly affect the settlement. Number 11, carelessness of the defendant. Were they looking at their cell phone when they caused the accident? Were they just cut? Did they know about uh, the risk of the accident beforehand. Number 12, who the insurance company is. Some insurance companies are more happy to settle than others. Others, uh, they, for whatever reason, they just don't want to settle at certain points. Number 13, the likability of the defendant. Believe it or not, if people like the defendant, then that could affect the settlement. Number 14, how you found your medical providers. Were you sent to them by your attorney, or did you go through your health insurance, or did you have to go by ambulance to a certain nearby hospital? Number 15, whether you had med pay, if you have medical payments coverage that your insurance paid for part of the uh, treatment, then that could affect your settlement as well. Number 16, the length of recovery. How, how long did you have to go for, uh, how long did it take in order for you to recover from your accident? Was it a few weeks, a few months, years, or the rest of your life? Number 17, were you intoxicated? Were you drunk or under some kind of medication, um, etc.? that perhaps caused or contributed or even not, but it was just in your system uh, near the or at the time of the accident. Number 18, did the ambulance take you away? Number 19, are you married? Marriage can affect the settlement value. Number 20, social media. Are you posting pictures of yourself skydiving the day after you claim that you were severely injured? Uh, all sorts of stuff on social media can really just affect your affect the settlement. Number 21, what witnesses to the accident said, what did they say as to injuries, what did they say as to how, how the accident occurred. Number 22, the time it takes to settle. Are you getting close to trial? Are you getting close to the statute of limitations? Number 23, your criminal history. Do you have a prior misdemeanor or felony? Uh, number 24, punitive damages. Can you show some kind of malicious or willful misconduct or what, uh, what uh, other standard in order to uh, at least try and get punitive damages in a personal injury case. Number 25, how much you will owe in medical bills? How much is the remaining amount that you owe back to medical providers? Number 26, whether you retained experts. Are you close to trial that, there's, that you are retaining experts? That could affect the value of the settlement. Number 27, who the claims adjuster is. Some claims adjusters are more aggressive than others. Number 28, pain medication since the accident. Are you taking pain medication? Number 29, the severity of the injury. Is it low, uh, relatively low treatment injuries or high treatment injuries? Is it soft tissue or hard tissue? Did you break bones or is it uh, uh, some minor back pain? Number 30, gap in treatment. Do you have a gap in treatment? Perhaps it's a, a month or several months or a year or two years. That can affect the value. Number 31, past jury verdicts involving the same injuries. Number 32, did you give a recorded statement, and if so, what did it say? Number 33, did you have surgery? Number 34, vicarious liability. Was a person working at the time of the accident, perhaps you could hold the employer liable, uh, that could affect the settlement because it could be higher uh, coverage. Number 35, emotional prior emotional problems. If you're claiming severe emotional distress, then they may be entitled to your prior emotional history. Number 36, 
Visible scars. Do you have any visible scars as a result of the accident? Number 37, emotional trauma due to the accident. Number 38, inconsistent statements. Did you make any inconsistent statements? Did the other side, did any witnesses make any inconsistent statements? Number 39, the county of the accident. In Los Angeles, the settlement value may be different than Orange County or Riverside or San Bernardino, Ventura, San Diego. They all have different uh, reputations for uh, settlement value because of the potential juries out there. Number 40, gender. Gender can affect because if a scar on a woman may be perceived differently as a scar on a man. No, number 41, do you have minor children? Do you have minor children that you may need to take care of and it's much more difficult due to the accident? Number 42, whether you go to jury trial, people, uh, insurance companies or defendants may settle for higher values when really faced with getting a jury verdict. Number 43, who your hospital is. Some hospitals have better reputations. Number 44, do you have pictures and video of the accident? Number 45, do you have lost wages? Number 46, do you, what kind of effect did this have on your daily life? Number 47, dependence on others. Are you now dependent on others because of the accident? Number 48, what witnesses to your injuries said? What, did pe what are people saying about your pain and suffering? What are the doctors saying about your injuries? Number 49, workers' compensation. Do you have a prior workers' compensation accident? Uh, do, were you at work because of the accident? Were you at work during the accident? Number 50, traumatic brain injury. Do you have a traumatic brain injury due to the accident? Number 51, how much insurance paid on medical bills? How much your, your health insurance company paid on medical bills can affect the, the value of the settlement? Number 52, who your employer is? What kind of work are you doing? Number 53, are you working? Number 54, newsworthiness. Is, there, is this a hot topic that, peop, that has hit the news sources? Number 55, the date of the accident. Was it on a holiday? That could affect the settlement value. Number 56, whether you will recover. Number 57, the time of the accident. Uh, accidents can vary if it's during rush hour or in the middle of the night. Uh, number 58, the impact on your personal life. Did this affect your family life? Did this affect your marriage? Number 59, what the police report says. Perhaps the police report put you at fault. Perhaps uh, the police report was inconclusive or, to, or just lists other witnesses um, uh, that, that don't help your case. Um, number 60, whether the other side violated some law that contributed or caused the accident. Number 61, Prior personal injury claims. Have you? Ha, do you have any prior personal injury claims? Number sixty-two. Did someone call nine one one as a result of, uh, at the time of the accident, at or near the time of the accident? Number sixty-three. Do you have any broken bones due to the accident? Number sixty-four. What kind of impact does this have on your children, if you have children? Number sixty-five. What's the severity of the impact? Is it a high property damage or low property damage? Maybe just a fender bender. Number 66, whether Medi-Cal paid for the treatment. Number 67, what you said in deposition. Number 68, what kind of treatment you got. Number 69, what was the weather? Was it raining or was it uh, snowing? Probably not in Southern California so much. Um, number 70, whether the witnesses are biased. Perhaps you're only calling family members and friends. Uh, number 71, exaggerations of the injuries. Do, are you exaggerating your injuries? Number 62, what's your age? Are you a minor? Are you someone in their prime years? Or perhaps you're elderly. Number 73, is your injury permanent or temporary? Number 74, emotional distress damage. Did you see a professional? Have you, did you see a therapist, psychologist, psychiatrist, or some other kind of psych uh, uh, treater for your injuries? Number 75, other illnesses that you have. Do you have some kind of Ill uh, immunocompromising illnesses? Do you have fibromyalgia or other diseases that may uh, cause you pain as well? Number um, 76, longevity. How long are you going to live for? There's actually tables for this. Number 77, do you have children? Number 78, do you have a bankruptcy on your record? Number 79, who your attorney is. Attorneys have reputations, some better than others. Number 80, the impact on your spouse. Perhaps your spouse has a, what's called a loss of consortium claim. Uh, number um, 81, lost earning capacity. Have the, is your capacity to earn, is that, is that lowered because of the accident? 
Number 82, who the defense counsel is. Number 83, your credibility. Number 84, whether Medicare paid for the treatment. Number 85, what your actual diagnoses are from the accident. Number 86, what kind of admissions the other side has made from your accident. Number 87, whether the car had a defect that caused the accident. Number 88, pain and suffering. What's your pain and suffering? How are you suffering due to the accident? Number 89, did causation. Did the accident actually cause your injuries? Number 90, are you a minor? Number 91, uh, your likability. Do, do you, does the other side believe that a jury will like you or will a jury like you? Uh, number 92, whether you are working and whether you were working at the time of the accident, whether you are working now. Number 93, priors, workers, compensation claims. Number 94, the lighting at the time of the accident. Number 95, whether you have private health insurance. Number 96, do you have a video of the accident? Number 97, do you have uninsured or underinsured motorist coverage in case the other side does not have enough coverage in auto claims? Number 98, what is your out-of-pocket medical bills? Number 99, do you have um, nerve damage? Number 100, how much risk there is to the case? And number 101, who your experts are. That's 101 factors that can affect your personal injury claim. If you have any questions, then ask me. All right, take care, everyone.